It's that time, my peeps, my enthusiasts, my magenta knights. It's officially the second year since I actually launched my channel back in 2020 when I uploaded my first episode of Minecraft. Yay! Applause! Cheer! Oh, celebration editor put, put the little celebration things in the background. Pew, pew, pew or something. Ooh. <laughs> Hopefully by the time this is uploaded, it will be on the exact day. For my channel's anniversary special, this is actually going to be a two-parter accompanied by some glorious art, which is actually fan art of another Akemi. They're an Indonesian VTuber I discovered earlier this June and honestly, love their content, their energy, they're great. I'll be sure to link his channel in the description below if you're interested. So that aside, this video, I wanted to talk about my adorable pink avatar, Kimmy, while their history is still fresh in my mind. I thought it'd be fun to talk about their conception, their origin, and how they've changed over the course of these short few years. Then the next video, which will hopefully be uploaded the same week, my second part, I wanna talk about something a little more personal, something very dear and close to my heart, and that's my channel, its mission, and the reason why I've decided to set it up the way it is. So you better subscribe and click that bell. Otherwise, that video close to my heart, you just might miss it. With that small introduction out of the way, Hanwood, let me tell you the history of my intense pink avatar, Akemi Hoshi. Five, three, two. In order to tell this tale, I have to take you way back. Back to my freshman or sophomore year of college, around the 2013 era of my higher education schooling. Back before I decided to let go of my two main stories, Lucy's Manor and Serenade to Me, I had a generalized conception back in the day that because I drew in an anime style but had an English name, nobody would want to read my stories. With that in mind, and mostly inspired by my sister, who found their own pen name, I decided to look up some traditional Japanese girl names. I think what's funny is that instead of making a proper Japanese pen name that actually had a legitimate surname, I chose Hoshi to be my quote last name, but it is in fact not a proper surname at all. Yet, I liked the appeal, as well as the abbreviation of A and H or A. Akemi roughly translates to bright and Hoshi translates to star. I was just sold on that alone. It felt right. Within my family and my inner friend circles, I am known as the bubbly one. Easily excitable as well as distractible, but cheery and silly. Who would fail so many if you laugh you lose challenges because oh boy, I love to laugh. I'm also a sucker for symbolism, and being a bright star shining through a dark night, that holds some real weight in my personal life. So, during those college years of customizing things from a new email to my channel, because this YouTube channel was created back in November of 2011, I just hadn't personalized it as well as utilized it at the time. I wanted all of my usernames to say Akemi Hoshi. However, as Anyone who has ever tried to snag their preferred username knows it's usually taken. So I slapped the simple numbers of 532 on the end of it, which derived from my very first email I ever got, which was Nataka532 at insert mail address here. I know not all people look at numbers and feel a connection or think they can be special, hold some kind of significance, but those three numbers held meaning to me. When I made my first email, again, the username was taken, but I was always fond of the numbers five, three, and two, and it's because of my immediate family. There are five members total in my immediate family, three siblings, including me, and two parents. Yep, there you go. That's why 532 is attached to Akemi Hoshi. It's a memento from growing up. Meant something to me, still does. So I kept it, Akemi Hoshi 532. What originally started out as a pen name to my comics and my stories eventually grew. Yet I didn't start visually conceptualizing Akemi until 2018. 
In that year, that's when I started a duo channel with Tailsaria, and we decided on some color coding to help our channel stand out, but also to keep it simple. I picked pink being my favorite color, and she picked purple. We both liked anime and decided to go with a very basic chibi anime style. I still have our old banner, so apologies, Tailsaria. I know you watch my videos, but I got, I'm going to show this old banner, which I'm going to show here. And... Ah, memories. However, not too long after our launch, we actually shut down the channel, maybe only a few months in. We weren't mentally in the right headspace at the time, nor did we really know what we wanted to do in terms of content and making a channel and being on YouTube as a whole really overwhelmed us. I thought I wanted to make animations and do gaming, which yeah, I brought over to my current channel, but I can feel animation fizzling out for me. Animation is actually where I got the concept to create the Akemi avatar you see now. I made a short animation that jabbed at my experience working retail, and that was the start. The bare bones of what Akemi looked like. It's a short animation, so amazing editor. Whip pen it over here to show it. So for those of you that have worked retail, has a customer ever walked up to you and you just kind of wanted to... Um, excuse me, ma'am. Do you think you could help me find this certain item? I'm kind of looking for- Yes. Thank you. Glorious work, as always. Yep. I made that in Adobe's Broken Flash CS6. I like the concept of the pink outline, but I wanted to push that further. So instead of a white background, I added this pink gradient and flower thingies. Then the next animation I started working on was my ex was a furry. When I started making that back in 2018, Akemi looked like this. But I ran into a problem, which was not realizing that making an animated story time of eight minutes was a huge undertaking, and it actually overwhelmed me. If you check out the description of that video, I mentioned that it basically went through production hell. Yet, I pushed through and finished that animation, finally uploading it in September of 2020 because I was so sick and tired of starting projects and never finishing them. A year goes by, and that animation I was so proud of making, now visually, I hated it. Akemi was too bright on the screen and hurt my eyes. The power of pink was too much, guys. So I started to make the line art a little thicker to compensate for contrast before eventually changing its original color. I'm gonna put up some comparisons on, up on screen right now. As you can tell on the left side of the screen is my old line art color, but due to its low contrast, you really can't make out the two because they blend together a little too well. Now slide that FF0066 square to the right. Ah, yes, much better. Hmm, even looking at it now side by side, I might even go darker. What do you think, glorious editor? You edit my videos and stare at my bright ass a whole lot. What would you think about this color? Hmm, yes, plotting and revisions. Just might go darker, guys, but I don't know. Not sure yet. Anywho, as far as design goes, Akemi has gone through a lot, especially if you look at her hands. Because originally I was planning on making animations. I wanted to save time by giving her stubs, but as I did animation less and less, and by looking through my content, gaming more and more, I featured her a lot on the thumbnails. Realizing this around 2021, I discovered I needed to be more dramatic and eye-catching in my expressions to draw people in. So I made a batch of expressions that covered the six basic emotions. Sad, anger, joy, fear, disgust, and surprise. Yet while I was hashing those out, I did reference some other expressions and decided to throw those in as well. As you can tell, Akemi sort of went through a mitten-like phase where I would suggest the outline of her hands, but not actually draw them. These first batch of expressions you can actually find in my birthday special of kitties and art where I drew them traditionally before finalizing them as digital. Be sure to check out that video afterwards. 
Even today, I'm still really proud to have finished a whole sketchbook in such a short amount of time. Continuing on, it wasn't until I found, or rather they found me, my first editor, Phoenix, that their feedback really gave me a push that lines up more with the Akemi of today. In many of our discussions, they expressed they would like a plethora of different Akemi avatar expressions to choose. I hate this channel. No, no! While th they're editing, and in all honesty, they're not wrong. I've proofread, or rather watched, my videos, and there's something about having a particular avatar that perfectly encapsules whatever it is I'm feeling that really makes that video. Once Phoenix is finished, I can't deny I'll be giddily watching in hopes of seeing my avatar jump up on screen, see what expressions they use, and even my friends who watch my videos have relayed to me they enjoy seeing my comical cartoony self pop up. It is a fun way to personalize my gameplay, and it may be more drawing on my end, but it's so worth it. So here's to you, Phoenix. Thank you for giving me that feedback and boosting my channel in a way I never would have expected nor thought about. You're appreciated, I'm glad you're here, and you really helped with Akemi's evolution. Akemi went from stubs to mittens to hands, and in the process, I discovered I really like drawing hands. Sure, perspective at times can be a total drag, but there's so much expression and gestures when you add the fingers, and it seems from here on out I'll be adding more and more. I feel it's a great way to combine my art with video games. And that's something I'm going to be talking about in part two of my anniversary special. Why art and video games? Comment below what some of the changes you've noticed a Kemi go through, whether it be me as a YouTuber or my avatar. It's your time to shine, my seasoned veteran subscribers and fans who have been with me since then till now. I want to hear from you. And before I go, I have to tell you all, thank you. Your support, you being here, is in part of why I'm still here, why I continue to do this. I'm looking forward to what this upcoming year for my channel means, and I'm glad you're here with me along the way. You matter, you're amazing, so be sure to remember to be awesome and be you, Akemi. Ow. <laughs>